morning ladies and gents I got a couple of videos for you the first one's a very short video of Katie and a new dealing with the parking police it goes very well and the second one is a new auditor who is about as lame as anyone I've ever seen do an audit it's horrible it's terrible I'm gonna have to cut a bunch of it out because a lot of it's dead air him walking around a post office uh, I, I, I don't know what this guy's deal is, but he really sucks at auditing. Uh, but let's go ahead and check this out. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we just got a call about your van being parked out here for a couple days. Yeah. So we were just here to make sure you're good. I'm fine. Okay. Can I get your names and badge numbers? Yeah. It, do you want me to write it down for you? Or if you have a card. Here. I'll I don't write have it down. a card, but I'll write mine down too. Oh. Okay. How are you guys doing? Yeah, I can. Okay. We're good. How are you? All right. I'm really not allowed to go anywhere, so, you know. I'm either trespassed or restrained. I'll just end that there. They're leaving. They're just going to write their names down and leave. It's no big deal. Uh, but, yeah, they're still watching her. They, they, got her. they got their eye on her, making sure she's staying out of trouble. She's back to going to neighborhoods she doesn't belong and hanging around for two or three days at a time. At least they didn't tell her she had 72 hours this time, so she may try staying there longer. Who knows? Anyway, let's move on to the, to the new idiot. I don't want to forget to mention that Katie went for her three restraining orders that uh, were put on her from the uh, court building. And they all got the restraining orders, and they're good for three years. So she lost that, but she hasn't mentioned it since uh, she lost the case. She hasn't said a word about it. She's not going to tell her followers. Anyway, now we'll move on. Well, I, I accidentally just pressed the stop button, so I'll have to edit that together. This is the new face of stupidity, folks, straight out of Knoxville, Tennessee. We got the post office here. Beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee. I don't know why people keep looking at me funny. Because you went to one of the most mundane places on the planet, the post office, to just film people and stare at them and uh, try to start some arguments with them. That's why. All right, well, let's go in and get our stamp. We have some signage here. Oh, no, I'm just taking pictures. Okay, you can't be taking pictures. Okay. I have to inform you, you're actually wrong. I can be. No, you can't. Yes, I can. How, how do you see that? It's the law. Is he talking about poster seven? This is what you're talking about right here? Exactly, poster seven. It says right there, Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meeting. Okay, except there's for, no public meetings going except on. Except right for now. where prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or authorized personnel or federal court okay. order. Rules. It also says you have to have permission of the facility head. No, it does not. Actually, it says the postmaster of that post office is what it actually says, but he just read his own ending. But this is very interesting. Watch what's going to happen near the end. The guy has a move I've never seen before. Uh, not this guy, but the post, the postman guy here. Watch what he does at the end. Yes, it does. You, you... Let me find it here. Hold on just a second. Let me go get my glasses. Are you, uh, so what is it you're doing? What is it you're doing? I don't have to tell you that. It's not none of your business. Okay, I'm asking you to leave one time, one time only. Then I'm going to call the police, okay? Okay, if, okay. I'll, if you do, I'll sit here and I'll wait for them to get here. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, because Poster 7 says that you have to have permission to do that. All right, go ahead and do that. Okay, be glad to. He's wrong. He knows he's wrong. Well, actually, he thinks he's right, but uh, he's. we all know he's wrong. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to cut out a bunch of this because he's just standing around filming post office boxes and pictures on the wall and the same usual crap they put in to fill up their videos.
Why do you want to stir up something? I'm not trying to stir up anything, sir. Well, leave. I mean, leave people alone. I'm standing up for your rights. Really? I am. What are you doing right now? Are you a libertarian? You ought to be. Wow. Wait, you waiting for the police to be called? You want to stir up some shit? And it's gonna be real funny when the cops get here and they go inside and tell the guy to stop bugging me and then for them to sell me my stamp. A little heads up, the cops aren't gonna come. The uh, postmaster there or whoever he is is gonna handle this perfectly. I'm conducting business on a business. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, it looks like he just came out a second ago. Check if I was still here. And I am still here. Let's give this guy a trophy. He stood his ground. What a man. What a hero. What a legend. You know, it's really a bummer that they gave everyone cell phones with cameras in them. Now that everyone can broadcast. All right, good deal. Don't film me. I'll try not to. You can't come into where the customers are. I need to purchase a stamp. You have to put your phone away. No, sir, that is not how it works. Show you something. So poster seven, we're talking about photographs for news, advertising, commercial purposes. I'm right here. So it says photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except where prohibited by official signs. So if there's a public meeting going on, and I know your First Amendment audience. Well, I think public meeting means any... No, public meeting means if, like, say, like the uh, local government is holding a public meeting here. That's what public meeting means. So, let's see. Or security force personnel or other authorized personnel. Or if you force. refuse to sell me a stamp, okay. you're, you're denying the public of service. Well, this is the deal. I can't let you film in there while people are using their cards. See, that's the thing is, it, it's not, that's not my fault. You should have it covered up. And then that's... Well, they, they can't cover it up. I'm not trying to be rude to you. I know you're a first time an auditor. But that's not my fault. Doing. You guys just should preserve their privacy. It's not my... Well, we do preserve their privacy. That's what I'm trying to do is preserve their privacy by not allowing you to film. But Bingo. When this guy can't keep up with the post, postal ma uh, guy's uh, arguments, he tries to talk over him. But the, the postal guy got it exactly right. He's preserving their privacy by keeping this moron out of there with his camera. Anyone can just come in there and take a picture real quick. That's what I'm saying is like, you should be preserving their privacy. I'm trying to stop you from doing that. I'm trying to preserve their privacy. I know. And if I had any will to steal from anybody, that's the last thing I'm doing here. You're invading their privacy when you're in there with that camera film. I am not. This is public property. You're a First Amendment auditor, right? I'm assuming this is going to go yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, you're yeah, correct. That's what I figured. Let me make another phone call because yes, I was sir. told to not allow you in there. I beg to differ that they're very wrong on that. I understand that. I understand, but I... I just want to get my stamp and get out. That's all I want to do. You're not going in there with a camera. It, it's not going to happen. It's, it's not breaking the law. It's not going to happen. But it's not breaking the law. I'm not trying to be rude to you. But but they're trying, denying me service. That's I'm breaking the law. Service, I'm denying you getting in there filming. That's what I'm doing. But by denying me service, you're breaking the law, actually. Actually, the post office can deny service if you're not following their rules and regulations. They're a private business. They're a private business that uh, gets uh, fe federal support. They don't get money from uh, the federal government to operate. They get that on their own. It's a private entity that is regulated by the government. They're not run by the government. Anyway, the, the end is interesting how the uh, postman uh, handles this.
I'll explain what's going on here in case uh, you don't understand yet. The, the postal guy talked to his boss and his boss told him, wait till everybody's out of the out of the area where he's picking up his stamp and then let him come in, get his stamp and get rid of him. That's exactly what he's doing. There's one lady in there that's already transacted her business and she's just waiting for something from behind the counter. Uh, so there's nobody in there doing any business when he goes in there. Here, go to lunch. No, not around today. Not around today. Okay. 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 Okay counter now. She doesn't have her credit cards out. She's all finished and uh, she's just waiting. This 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 went very well. He didn't have to call the police. He just handled it this way. The guy gets in there, thinks it's a win, but there's nobody in there that he can argue with or start trouble with. Real exciting stuff, bro. The guy never hardly ever talks unless somebody says something to him. He's just totally quiet all the time. It's just ridiculous. I appreciate you making a phone call, sir, and being courteous to elaborate on the situation. 40 cents. One, two, three, four. You have a great day. Please. You too. Thank you. And the fraudster. Yes, sir. The fraudster still doesn't understand what's going on. He doesn't understand what that guy did. All right, you guys. Knoxville has passed the test. That was actually pretty good. It could have gone a lot worse. I gotta say, you know, my heart was beating when he started talking about cops. I'm not the most cop friendly in my life at this point, but man, I am uh, astonishingly proud of myself for doing that. I'd have to say I'm a bit more proud of the post postman uh, guy there. He handled that pretty well. He didn't have to waste police resources on this clown. Uh, Jesus, what an idiot. I'm telling you. They're not getting any better, folks. These auditors are not getting any better. They're rehashing the lines from the whoever was before them, you know, like they all do. They just regurg regurgitate. They chew up the, the bits and pieces they see in other uh, videos, and they spit it back out again like it's an original thought in their head. Uh, it's, it's crazy. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. A new idiot to mess with. Y'all have a great day now. Love y'all. Bye.